gentleman on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, and fighting out of it, representing Houston, Texas in the United States. He weighed in at 17 stone, three and one quarter pounds, or 241 and one quarter US pounds. His record stands at 39 wins, three losses, with 32 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is currently ranked the number 17 heavyweight contender by the WBC. Here is the former USBA heavyweight champion, introducing Lou traditional black trunks, fighting out of and representing Catskill, New York, in the United States. His weight, 15 stone, 12 pounds, 222 U.S. pounds. His record stands at 47 wins, 3 losses, 1 no contest, with 41 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title, currently ranked the WBO number one contender, presenting the two-time heavyweight champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back, introducing the one and only Iron Mike. rules at all times, display good sportsmanship and obey my instructions. Shake hands, good luck to you both. John Coyle has been a referee for 30 years. Tyson, this time, fighting outdoors and coming in in a kind of tracksuit top. That's not usual for him, is it? He usually just comes in in the black boots and a little towel and the black shorts. Yes, it is, but he'll feel the cold here, so he'll want to wrap up. The one thing you don't want to do is get a, get a bit of a chill or cool down. You're nice and warm in the dressing room. You want to keep that warm. First time he's fought outdoors since Razor Ruddock in Las Vegas in 1991. Tyson, who scored 21 first-round victories. Is this going to be another of them, you wonder? Julius Francis said every punch that Tyson threw was like a kick from a horse, and the first one he throws is a left hook that puts Savarese on the floor and looks badly shaken up from it. Within the first, what was that? 10 or 15 seconds. Is Savarese going to get through this opening round? Oh, another big left. Stopped. It's going to be stopped. It's all over. Oh, and he still wants to attack him. And John Coyle is trying to stop the fight. And Tyson fights on. I don't think he understood it. The fight is over. It is stopped. John Coyle just couldn't get in there. Well, he did get in, but Tyson didn't understand it. I believe he's called the fight off here. Yeah. And that might be the quickest win of Tyson's career. Previously, it was 30 seconds against Marvis Frazier. Well, it was over before it had started. His very first punch basically ended the contest. Yes, the left hook to the jaw. Savarese was never going to get back from that. Yeah, well, he was out on his feet, and I think really. Tyson just hadn't had enough, he wanted to carry on hitting him. I don't know whether it was the instruction, I just think he, he wanted to, he was, you know, he really felt angry, he wanted to get in there, and he wanted to get that, the action going. I don't think the crowd are very pleased, quite honestly, and by the way, uh, reports of a 40,000 crowd here greatly exaggerated, it's nothing like that, but people, I think, wanted more for their money than simply, what was that, 25, 30 seconds, 33 seconds we reckon, but we'll, we'll have to wait for the official time, but it might officially be the quickest of uh, Tyson's career. We'll wait and see what they say officially. Well, officially, I'm told here at ringside it will be announced as 38 seconds. It will be announced as 38 seconds, the timekeeper has told us. This is what happened. 
Wasn't much of it. It was pretty explosive. Yes, it's a good left hook. He gets full leverage into that, really gets all his power. Shot on the, the top of the head, really, just on the, the side. And it was a, a really good punch from Tyson. Really got everything into that, and he just buckled. The legs went straight away. Down he went really heavily. He did get up from that, but then Tyson, who's always been one of the great finishers, was on him in an instant. Wasn't going to let him off. And John Coyle had a terrible job trying to actually make himself understood that the fight was off. Tyson just wanted to keep on going for it, didn't he? Well, I, I think he must have really knew what, what John Coyle was trying to do because John Coyle got in the way of Here that. Here it is. Here it is, Glenn. This, this is, is a finish. Well, he, he's got him going there. He's hurt. He's running in, trying to get the, the punches on. There's a good uppercut went in there. He just kept the left hook there, and at that point, the legs were really gone. Oh, that one that finished one. the job. Another big left hand. Really badly hurt. That's where the referee wanted to step in. Tyson wasn't having any of that. I want more of it, he says. This is the guy who said at their press conference, I enjoy hurting people. Yep, and he really tries. He now comes around the other side. Watch this. He goes around the other side to get a shot in, Ooh. and nearly fells John Coyle. I think he got John Coyle with a left hook there as well. He's got a good chin, John Coyle. You know, <laughs> And really, he just didn't want, he did not want, he wanted to inflict more punishment. He wanted to hurt Lou Savarese more. And here, John Coyle is actually speaking to Tyson and saying, look, I've stopped the fight. It is over. Now, some of the Scottish fans are pretty upset, but I have to tell you, it's only the second time in 43 fights that Savarese has been stopped. Nobody's done it this quickly before. the 22nd first round win of Tyson's career. Look at this. John Coyle was taking his own life in his hands for a moment there. He won't forget tonight in a hurry either. Well, he won. It didn't last very long, but he was trying to be excited. He was trying to get the shot. There's the realization, I think, that the fight's open. You can see it on Tyson's face. Was that it? 